Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Um, this is part three. 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 One of the we're, we're number at the end. We're numbered. Yeah. <laughs> so this video is going to be about the um, thirty-seven pound ham sack and its contents. Yes. Um, our lovely, lovely assistant Kevin um, has a lovely example with a lot of original items. So um, we'll have a look at his instead of mine. Mine's all disgusting production, so it's fine. So yeah. I do. I do. So if Kevin would like to uh, well, take it. Well, I do. Why don't we? Pan the camera down so we could, you know, do some close-ups and some of the yeah. stuff. When I'm a little gander, it was a, that is a. Suit you, sir. Suit you, sir. Go on. Okay, then. so what we've got here, obviously, you can see just by looking at it here, you can, obviously you can see we have the, um, the, the the cup there. That's just for ease. I don't think it's just a reenactorism. Did I make that word up? Not sure. No, I uh, think it's friendly. Cool. And we have the uh, ground ground the Mark Six ground sheet. Um, cape, I think, uh, uh, you know, it's a, it's a bit of both. The Mark VI was just literally a ground sheet, but and up for another video, maybe. So let's have a look inside. Okay, so as I mentioned, this is rolled up and it's put in like this, and that helps protect the contents from getting wet. Now, Inside we have you can see straight off. We have the The wash roll now officially this was in the large pack, but you know equipment May get well, you know supplies may not always arrive in time. So it was usual to have this in there um, And we will look at what's in that. I also have a cap comforter this particular one was made in 1944 somewhere up north okay so that's a lovely example of an original <coughs> we have the pullover and this particular pullover is once again it is an original and it was made in 1940 so it's nice to have an original a tad small but then again it's to, for me it's fine to wear underneath the battle dress if it gets a bit chilly so there are various ways you can carry the mess tins in the in the actual small pack either together or separate i like this way because number one i've got some spare socks in there cheese and these are the mid-war um steel mess tins so particular ones are made in 1942 if that uh, can zoom in on that okay so a bit of rust never hurt anybody did it okay and what have i got in here <clears throat> so I've got foot powder. Now, please excuse the uh, modern bag, but as this is an original foot powder, um, just to stop it getting everywhere. This particular one is February 1940. So all original with its contents. As I said, please excuse the plastic bag. That's just for when I'm storing it. And we have, which would possibly be kept in the large pack, but because I might lose a button out in the field, I like to have the housewife now this is an original and we have some spare kind of green khaki-ish material there or serge obviously for repairing holes and various buttons and yes the plastic bags are modern but it just keeps everything nice and neat for now but the buttons are original we have needles various thread okay so as I said, all original, and that is called the housewife. Now I keep it in my small pack because if I rip a button off or something out in the field, it's just it's nice to be able to make a quick, you know, quick field repair. What else have I got in here? So here I have my, what would you call this, a ration bag? Yeah, a ration bag or messing bag is cooking in the early war period, but- I think it's supposed to be like for- food and that yeah you spare eaten. rations yeah. and that um, later uh, later on this particular one is an original <coughs> and it was made in 1941 and uh, lovely unissued um, version there we have a shaving mirror okay this is a reproduction um a soldier fortune reproduction quite cheap does the job very, very um, nice one there. It very is very nice. Cool. It is. Uh, I, I'm happy. I mean, I will be replacing it with an original when I find a decent, um, you know, a decent one. Just because I'm a bit like that. I like the original, you know. 
Um, what else have we got? Our emergency ration tin. Okay. This is obviously, it's been opened. It would have a, like a metal band around there. And this was just for emergencies and it was full of basically chocolate, high calorie, uh, you know, a chocolate. At the moment, I've got in there is just my um, King's Own Scottish Mordorous cat patch for now. But um, this is an original tin. Um, the chocolate has obviously been eaten many, many years ago. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Now I also have a couple of sterilizing outfit tins that do not have the original contents. I've got some razor blades, put some pieces in there. Um, so yes, these were obviously, you had two bottles in each one. One was to sterilize and one was to take away the horrible taste of the sterilizing pills. Um, and yeah, that's the contents of my small pack. And uh, Jake, what about you? Do you have anything different in yours? Um, apart from maybe like things shaving kit, um, etc. We uh, focus on your uh, uh, wash roll then? Eh? Yep. Okay. <clears throat> Almost forgot that. <laughs> <laughs> I think most difference between me, mine and yours is probably most of yours is original, most of mine is reproduction. And uh, that's mainly the differences. So, what have I got in here? So, I have a towel. And unfortunately, this is a reproduction. I do have an original coming. In here, I also have some spare boot laces, leather boot laces, toothbrush. I have an original, so some, some, so obviously my, excuse the elastic band. It's, it's mainly in storage at the moment. Uh, these ones are 1942, so British issue. That zooms in there and a 1930s standard knife so uh, you know I have a reproduction tube of toothpaste in um, what was this it's modern toothpaste inside a reproduction tube um, once again for storage I have some soap and some reproduction shaving stick Okay. I think I need to get myself a Bakelite holder or something for that, but for now this is fine. And we also have my shaving brush, a 1944 original example, in great condition. And I have two razors. I have the Valet Auto Strop, but that's in my large pack. This, however, is what I'm carrying in this for now. And this is this particular one was made in 1943. What are they called? Safety razors? Yeah, yeah. Well, it comes they rip my face to shreds, but not very safe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so there you are. Um, that is the contents of my, my small pack. And sorry for the bags, but yeah. See yeah, you later. Thank you very much. <laughs> Bye. See you in the next video, yeah?